Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the first of our how-to videos. So today we thought we'd bring you along and show you how to change the back axle on Scrapzilla. All right, why are we changing the axle, you're probably asking. Well, just as you can see from this tire, look at that. It is completely, completely worn. Um, and the other one on this side, we already have everything all set up. We do want to talk about that. That's an important key in doing this sort of thing. Uh, you can see the same thing over here, completely worn out, completely worn. So the next thing I look at is when I come under here and I don't know if you can tell on the video, but there is a, there is a pretty substantial bow in that, in that axle. So it's a lot closer in the middle than it is on the outside. So we're going to change it out. Here we go. All right, step number one is make sure you got everything you need for the job. Um, so we already brought out the wood. We brought out our wood on both sides. We brought out our jacks already. Um, these are the only two deep sockets that we're going to need. Right here we have a, hold on a second, a three quarter and I believe a seven eighths. Nope, 13 sixteenths. So three quarter and 13 sixteenths. Those are the only two that we need. Um, I like to break my uh, lugs the old fashioned way. Um, and then we're gonna pull out the impact. We'll get the rest of this and then we'll get this tire off. And off she goes. All right, as you can see here, this thing is just eight up. Eight up. Look, that, that's what I seen the other day. Can you guys see that? There's a big old slice in that thing. Yeah, there you go. I said, okay, time to, time to figure this out. So there you go. Boom, that's one tire. Oh, these are the two other tires. We're gonna be painting them. I prepped this one last night. Um, I still gotta prep and clean that one, but we're gonna be doing that today as well. So I still gotta sand that down, get all the chips off of it and everything, and then we will go from there. All right, back to this. <clears throat> still kind of curious here. <sighs> I don't know a lot about the rockers. So, I'd really hate for something not to be completely wrong with the axle, although I think it is. I really think it is. All right, so next step is I'm gonna go do the same thing with the other side. Boom, tire number two is off. All right, that one's got some play in it, all right. All right, good, this, this rocker arm 
right here very loose look at that I like all that the other one is not like that and I'm wondering if that was part of the issue here so we got to make sure that both of these rocker arms because that's just suspension are working properly so that's just something I loosened up the other one but I'm not gonna have to loosen up this one I mean I'll show you the other one see how that moves boom that's exactly what we want right there let's go check on this other one Ooh, I just want to make sure I'm doing the right thing before I get to ripping everything apart. All right, let's check on this one here. Look at this. Okay, yeah, she's moving. That's beautiful. I like that. Okay. Okay, I feel much better about things now. So I'm probably going to retighten that bolt and then um, make sure they still move pretty freely and easily. Next step is to free up these u bolts. Come on, baby. U-bolts come right off. And oh, okay. That's bracketed right to it. And bam, just like that. That's all it is on this one. These is gonna stay right where they are. I'll go loosen the other one. And then it's just taking off this back bolt and this thing's gonna come right down. Boop. Sweet. All right. We're to the point now where we're gonna take this screw out. Okay, I didn't even need the adjustable on that side. Let's see if we can. All right. We're gonna block this up a little bit. We get this up. Let me get a block. This way we have all the tension off of the spring. Got that back nut off. Um, now I mean technically, it should just be able to pick that up. Boom, and that's gonna fall right out like that. And then what we'll do is, uh, once I get the other one off, we'll jack this thing back up again. And this should be able to just slide right off of the back. So let's go pull the other one. That's the bolt that we pulled out there. So let's go. All right, this one, we ended up needing the adjustable on. Now we're going to come in this way. All right. Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, ba bow. 
Always important to keep all of your screws together as well. Now we're gonna jack up the trailer a little bit. See if we can get it to a point where we can just move this bad nasty right on out of there. Let's go see what the other side has to say about it. I could hear it already banging. Oh, we gotta disconnect the brake line. All right, hold on, we'll be right back. And boom, there you go. We got it off to the back. Um, now I'm not putting brakes, a brake axle back in there. Uh, what I'm doing is we're just going with a regular hub axle. Um, it was much cheaper and uh, I don't think we're putting, we'll still have the front brakes. But I don't think we're putting anything so crazy on here that it's really going to kill us. Um, you know, the other trailer doesn't have any brakes and we pull her around just fine. So we shall see. All right. Uh, next step is we got to move the axle in there. We're almost done. Luckily, I didn't have to. Oh man, I spoke too soon here. Hold on a second. Yes, sir. Uh, right through. Uh, that was bad, nasty. Nice, solid. Now, oh, I already did it to that side. That side's already back up. Boom, we got our axle in here. All right, so now, you see there's a little hole. That's called your spring center. And there's a little hole right in the bottom of this. And you see it fits right in there. And now our U-bolts go right back over the top, like so. Boom. And boom. As you can see down there, now we're just going to tighten them up. We'll do the same thing on the other side. And we're done. Axle will be changed out, and then we can start working on the tires. But we'll bring you back in a few. Okay. And that's that. They're all changed out. Um, I don't know if it sits out further than the other ones. God, I hope not. Let's put a tire on here real quick and see. Nope, so you can see as we look down the line, it's going to be perfect. Perfect. We like perfect. All right, time to start prepping these tires to go on now. Um, we're not doing the black and white thing here, so we want to paint these black. I picked up some spray paint. But well, we're going to scuff these up, clean them up, and then uh, paint them, put them on, and we'll be done. Axles, baby. <laughs> Lama shots. What's up, Lils? What's going on? Huh? Say hi. <coughs> oh, oh, you did. Right on command. Give me kisses. Give me kisses. Kiss, kiss. Come on, kisses. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Give kisses. Give me kisses right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Give me kids. That's my dog. All right, all right, enough, enough, enough. You made your point. You made your point. No, 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 you made your point. Okay, okay. We gotta get back to work now. Oh, you're fine. Oh, you're fine. All right, we're just doing this. Get off any of the... Old stuff. Got a little scratch on the stop. Lily don't like it. Lily don't like the grill. Hey, come on. Enough. 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 It's just a drill. It's just a 
It's just a drill. Say hi. Say hi to everybody. Yeah, it's just a drill. You're fine. All right, so, oh, and this is my old Cam Newton shirt. One of them had to be salvaged. So I picked the Cam Newton one from the Cam Newton days. I'm still not okay with Bill Belichick being gone, just in case anybody's wondering. Um, absolutely breaks my heart that he's not gonna break the record in New England. Looking like he's going to the Falcons. What am I doing here? A couple of last pieces. Now look at that. We got a lot of it off there that wasn't on there before, you know? Now I wish I had my other brush. Can't find it. Got one more brush that would be great for down in there. Uh, we'll take a flat head and ch -ch 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 scoop it away in that and this one will be ready to paint and then we'll start prepping this one. All right, people, sorry about that. I got about 18 cameras going right now. So we finished the prep on that one and we just sprayed it. So we'll see how that goes. Um, we're gonna start working on this one right now and I'll take you with me more on this one. You get to do the whole thing, clean up, we'll prep it, and then uh, spray it. All right, so we're just gonna get right to scuffing this one. She's a mouthy one today. All right, I think that's gonna be pretty good. Um, so on this one, we don't have, on that one we had some rusting and some chipping. On this one, we don't. So, and we just hitting it with that, that scuff coat, you know, so that uh, the paint adheres a little bit better. I'm sure, I probably should have done it longer or something like that, and that's okay. At the end of the day, they're just trailer tires, but... All right, now it's time to tape it. And boom, there you go. Look at that, it took us less than five minutes. So we are all prepped up there, ready to go. Oh, we gotta do the, we'll do that, and then I'll bring you back in when we spray it. Boom, boom, boom. Time to spray, round two. Boom. And I like that one just the way it is. All right, boom. We are done. Just sit around and wait. Wait for paint to dry. Put our wheels back on, and we are done. Woohoo! Just to show you guys. Oh, great, my back screen's out again. Of course it is. Um, just to show you guys. I mean, look at how bad these tires were. This was the inside of this one. And look, this was the inside of that one. So the insides, both of them, just flat worn out. I mean the outsides. So those are the insides. That's the outside of the tire. That and that. Man, they definitely needed to come off. And usually when tires wear like that, it's because of the axle or the spindles. <sighs> so I hope we just did the right thing. We're keeping that old axle. I'm just keeping that thing. Oh, the back screen's working again. Beautiful. Well, there's the tires. They are all painted, and that's about as good as they're going to get. So, time to start reinstalling. 
get these back on, get everything dropped. Woohoo! Here we go. All right. Boom, get everything back up and good. Get these back on. I think we already have it in the... I always like putting them on by hand first, getting them snug, and then you can come in with the impact or come in with your crossbar. Well, I like to get them snugged up first. All right, impact time. Boom. I say boom a lot. Good. Now, second verse, same as the first. We're going to go do the other one, and then we'll bring you back when we drop her. Time to let this thing down. All right, that's it. She's back on her, uh, back out on it. All that's left now is take her for a drive. See how it goes. So we shall see, we shall see. This thing's way jacked up right now. The front is way up compared to the back, so. Oh, goodness. All right. Well, let's drop her and see what happens here. We already did drop her. Now we got to bring the truck in, hook her up, and take her for a joyride. So, uh, you really can't see it there. I can see it. I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see how this front tire, that's why they're wearing on the outside. Look at how straight that back tire looks compared to the front one. The front one looks like it's kind of on this angle a little bit. Let me bring you up closer. I, mean, I don't know if you're going to catch it through there. But the front one definitely seems to be on a little bit more of an angle. So, we may be doing this with the front ones sooner or later too. That back one looks nice and straight though. It sure does. So, let's go for a test drive. Overall, test run went great. I'm um, pretty happy with it. Uh, what I do got to do that I didn't do, I got to get back in here and tape up these wires. I'm going to tape those up. Get them up top here, maybe zip time or something. Um, but besides that, yeah. And I think that this sooner or later is going to have to, uh, it's going to have to go, unfortunately. Um, now that I have this one on there that's sitting straight up and down, you can, I don't know, I can kind of tell that the other one just, it's a, its in a little bit like this. It's got a little, little curve to it. But anyway, that's a different problem for a different day. We made it through it. Uh, thank you all for coming by and watching. Uh, this is the first in our how-to videos and hopefully we'll have many more, many, many more. So thanks a bunch for stopping by. Remember, there is no us without you. Team Lift is more than just physical, so if you can help somebody, I greatly encourage you to do that. What a day. Um, and that's that. We'll see you on the next one.